Ah, bonjour. Today is uh, vlog day 398. We got uh, it's, it's, it's a difficult number to translate. What's up? It's Friday in real time, which means it's still time for French Friday. So you want to buy a postcard and you want to send it home. But you're scared of buying postcard stamps and you don't speak French so you don't really want to get one from one of the postal workers. I got you covered. First things first, we need a postcard. Success! Now we need to pick a recipient and fill it out. Obviously this postcard is making me think of my sister, so she's the most likely recipient. The other thing you need to do is find a post office. The post office here is called La Poste. If it says La Banque Postale, that's also a post office. It's, the post office is a bank here, as well as the post office. It's just the way it works. So the machines are actually a little bit limited in their options. You can't buy like real stamps unless they're just for being in France. You'll see these ones in here. You can buy a stamp for France, but it's only those kinds. So otherwise you've got to actually add the amount yourself. But what's really cool about this is that there is an English speaking version. Boop, you hit that, changes everything to Anglais. And now we can go to stamps and then we can choose to mail a postage label. And we can select the value for 130. Because it's one euro, th whoa, 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 pack. Sorry, you can select the value for 1.3. There we go, and that's all you would need to send one postcard. Now, if you don't trust that, you can go back and you can actually buy, uh, we can send mail or a small object. Then we weigh it on this scale here. It registers that as seven grams. You can send up to 20 grams for the same price. So we're gonna hit confirm, and then we want to send it to the world. We're gonna type in USA. There we go, boom, USA, confirm. This is where I always get confused too. This is why I just do the 130, right? But we can just go with first class letter and it's 130, okay? So that's why it's confusing. First class letter is the same thing as a postcard in this situation. Are we sending, <laughs> your sending is already partially franked? No, so we'll confirm our purchase. And then we've got to pay. You can pay with card or coins. I'm going to be paying with coins. Do I have a euro 30? I don't, so I'm going to be putting in two euros. And then I do not need a receipt, so I'm going to hit no. I should print that out. And give me my change at the same time. There you go. Now the thing to be aware of is that if you buy a stamp from the guys over there, you're going to get a regular little Lickit stamp. These ones, however, are significantly wider, so you need to leave space on the postcard to use them, as I have done here. So you need to make sure you leave enough space so that when you put it on there, you can still read everything. And when you go to send it, if you go right outside the post office, there's always going to be these options, and you're going to want to send it to the autre département or étranger. Étranger means foreign, right? Stranger, so you're gonna send it to the strangers. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that is basically all you need to know to send a postcard. You can actually buy a book of stamps from them and honestly I think it's more fun if you go and you talk to the guys and buy the stamps from them because if you saw when I sent some postcards last week, those little purple stamps with like the French lady on them and stuff are way more fun. I think they look way cooler. Just feel more authentic than those printed out labels that you saw me get right there. So it's up to you. If you don't feel particularly brave, you don't want to talk to the people at the counter uh, to get like a real stamp, then those machines are there for you and you can just turn them to English and then plug away until you get as many stamps as you need. You can buy them in whatever quantity you need, of course. And there you have it. That's how you mail a postcard from Paris to pretty much anywhere. Uh, that's how you do it to the States, obviously, specifically, but you can use the same method to send them to any place the French Postal Service will deliver to.
Alright, I found a new print shop. Thanks to Lerka. Thank you, Lerka. I'm going to go ahead and try to get these papers printed so I can mail them today and hope that I get into this system fast enough that I have paperwork to show the prefecture when the time comes. Uh. Just in time too, it's starting to rain. Ugh. And just that quickly, done. Oh man, that was easy. That was great. Oh, so much easier than going to those other guys in my neighborhood. That's the thing, my neighborhood, sometimes services just aren't as easy or as convenient. So that's pretty out. I gotta find coffee, sit down, have, oh, and lunch. We're not too far from the Clark dog. Really rained a lot in that brief period of time. I am close to the Peloton, so I figured I might as well check and see if Paul is in. It'd be nice just to sit and chill here. Otherwise, I'm gonna go to Strata Cafe, uh, which I haven't really marked on the Archivos map yet. And we haven't really talked about Archivos much yet, but Archivos is gonna be a really handy tool for keeping track of all the madness that is my vlog here shortly. Look, the doors are open and everything. You shaved! Who's this baby-faced human being that I've never met before? Uh, look, here's Goku used to do, uh, before he had longer than I did. I don't know. Yeah, how are you? Alrighty, I'm gonna get a Clark dog, but to earn it, pull-ups. And I've been, I haven't been doing them on camera because it's really weird and embarrassing, but I'm gonna do it this time and you guys can let me know if it's weird for you too. Five. We'll do the trick, I guess. We're starting low this week. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've wrangled the bike from Paul so I can go pick up hot dogs for the two of us. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the Clark dogs. They're so good. They're so good. Way better than walking, as long as they don't run into anybody. So much faster. And then I gotta just figure out how to do the uh I carry the bag. I, I'm pretty sure they've got a big bag I can carry. A lot done, uh, lots of progress, and I'm feeling okay right now. Rachel and I are gonna go get more Mexican food. Cause Mexican's a staple in life, it should be at least, but it's hard to find, so she's gonna introduce me to a new place. That'll come into play again later, I'm sure. Realize, hey, whoa, small worlds. I've been here before. I want another burrito. Uh, the wonderful part is that it's not closed for August, which is a surprise. The tacos were very good, where my burrito was amazing. But check this out, in true French fashion, look at, the, look at the size of this bathroom. First, look where it's located. Which of those is the bathroom, do you think? That one? That one? Which one's the bathroom? I'll show you. Whoa. I don't think I'm gonna fit. All right, the, I'm gonna cut it here. You don't wanna see what happens next. I haven't seen that one yet, actually. I finally gave in and downloaded the Space Invaders app so you can actually verify that you found real ones. I don't know why I've been so resistant. Partially probably because I'm gonna become obsessed with this. I love Space Invaders, and this is only gonna take it to an unhealthy place very quickly, but there's one right there. And I'm gonna, it'll be my first one that I add into the app. Yeah, this basically turned into Pokemon Go, but for street art. We're gonna go to an outdoor movie, but that plan got canned. And what? Phil's way ahead of me on the stairs here. Anyways, we were gonna go to an outdoor movie, but I got a can, then we sat around for a while. Now they're gonna watch Netflix. I'm gonna go uh, edit, so uh, see you tomorrow.
always, it's actually, believe it or not, it's not with age, right? You think you come to France and, you know, you just absolutely you look know, after yeah. wine, right? And you are. The problem is, about 50% of the time, you get something that's terrible. So, what ha tends to happen is you pick something and you stick to it. So, we are looking for something specific on this particular okay. occasion. There's some super cheap ones too, right? Yeah, but the cheaper you get, the more well, of a roulette it is. The, it, the more of a roulette it is, yeah, that's it. It's not necessarily going to be bad because it's cheap, it just means that it's going to be more likely to be bad. More likely to be bad. I mean, I've had some, the, especially the whites. It is true, you'd expect the wine selection to be broadly, like, always good. Like, you can never buy a bad bottle of wine, but you can way. really buy it. That's really dusty. Yeah, that means it's awesome. <laughs> Part of the problem, if you want to get into it, is because of the way the French make wine. How's that? It's because they stick to traditional techniques and they cut out a lot of the um, things that they use in the new world that would make things more consistent. Yeah, makes sense. Um, so for that reason, it's why you pick one that you know um, is okay. It definitely reduces the odds of experimenting as you go. Anyways, this this escorted trip into wine uh, purchasing brought to you by Philippe. Nice. The strains, man. Enjoy. We, we sell the most wine in the world. <laughs>